Have you ever been interested in robotics? Hello, my name is Cutter Stevenson from Johnson County 4-H. I'm here to show you the basics of coding. Materials needed. EV3 brick, robot, and laptop or iPad. Challenge one, the code your robot moving forward. The objective is to get your robot from one side of the bridge to the other. This is the coding screen. And these are the main codes. This is the action code. This does what our physical bodies can do, like move and make noise. And this is the flow control, because these codes control the flow of the code. And this is the start, which makes starts it. The steering motor has di many different functions. The steering function, which makes it turn left or right. The power function, which makes it go forward or backwards. And how fast it will be going. And rotations, which makes it move. And there are different ways you can code it. You can code it off, or you can code it where it'll turn around and it'll go on and on until you tell it to stop you can code it for seconds you can cut or you can code it for degrees i choose rotations because it works best for me i and i've already measured my my bridge to be six rotations but you're not always going to get it right from at the start so just try try and try again and now we're done, so let's see if it works. We did it! Challenge two is to get your, is to move your robot backwards. Your objective is that your robot has heard a Mac Hill Jackson song and now wants to do the moonwalk. In challenge one, I showed you how to move your robot forward. Now I'm going to show you how to move it backwards or moonwalk. We're going to have to grab another move steering code block and turn and turn your 50 into a negative 50. And now that you can see the arrow has, is pointing, the steering arrow is pointing down. So now we just have to turn this one into a six. And now we, it's moved. Now we're done. So now let's see if it works. We did it! Challenge three is to learn to turn your robot. The objective is that your robot has finally stopped moonwalking and now needs to go over the bridge and take a left to town. In challenge one, we made it move forwards. In challenge two, we made it move backwards with an extra block. And now in, in challenge three, we're going to turn it we're going to make it turn left to town. Now we need to change the second code block and turn the power into a regular 50 so it can go forward and then turn the steering into a negative 39 so it can turn left because negative the positive positive numbers make it turn right and negative makes it turn left. Now we're done, so now let's see if it works. We did it! In 
conclusion, we have learned about the move steering block and its three functions, rotation, power, and steering. In challenge one, we did rotations to make it go forward. In challenge two, we did we used rotations and power to make it go forward and backwards. In challenge three, we did rotations and steering to make it go straight and then turn. I hope this presentation was informative and encourages you to join our robotic community.